Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Neverwinter Nights 2 with the scroll mod. Alright, we are now in the Fairchild Residence. We're dealing with this Mercy Mission quest that we got going on. We were upstairs and we found out that Nancy has been killed, probably by that Mephit that was down here. And apparently her husband is down here in some kind of secret room below this uh, trap door here, trying to find out some kind of method to get rid of the barrier. So, we're going to continue on to see what's going on down here. We are still buffed up with all of our long duration things, so if we get into a fight down here, I'm thinking we should be alright. Let's go down to the trap door here. You see some steps leading down from the trap door to a chamber below. Alright, climb down the steps. Okay. I don't see any bad guys. There's a scroll here, and some bowls. Ralph, dead. Huh! <laughs> okay, he must have turned himself into a statue somehow. Alright, what else we got going on? There's a combination locker here. That scroll. Writings of Ralph. Alright, let's go check this stuff out first, I guess. The scroll. The Summoning of Melicamp. After further study and research, I have confirmed that the sigil components required for the summoning are as I have noted here. They must be placed within the bowls in this order after the master sigil is prepared. Then Melicamp should appear, and we will be able to discuss terms of business with respect to him removing the barrier and any payment he requires for doing such. I suppose Nancy would call Melicamp an evil entity or demon, but she does not understand that these forces are for us to use to help solve worldly problems. <laughs> so it is that I will summon Melicamp to rid us of the barrier that surrounds this village. As long as the price for such is not beyond my reach, what I must not forget is the reward and prestige that will come for resolving the barrier issue. That should more than make up for the initial expense I must provide. Hmm. So apparently we need cold stone, powdered silver, quicksilver, and diamond dust. Hmm. Hmm. I see symbols there. Hmm. Okay. Alright, that's starting to make sense. Yeah, I think those symbols are matching up with this. Okay, so we need to put these components in these bowls. Okay. According to that little symbol that's right there in front of it. Looks like they're the same ones. That one is that one, and that one is that one, and this one is the cold stone one, and... Okay, yeah, that one looks like this one. Okay. We just need to find those components now, I guess. Alright, the writings of Ralph. Let's see what this says. The final pages of Ralph's diary captures your attention. The 21st of Devor. Today I can begin, and when I rid the village of the barrier, I will prove that I am worthy of their respect, and not just some average man. Of course, Nancy is fretting again. She insists upon seeing a difference between good and evil, whereas all I see are sources of power. So what if the magic I manifest requires this week, a week supposedly holy to a god called Devor? I will just ignore her superstitious cries and get on with what is needed. Alright, and two days later, Nancy is really becoming quite obsessed about this whole evil, weak thing, and it's starting to interfere with my concentration. I will just have to ignore her for the time being so that I can prepare the ritual. I simply told her that people will thank me when I'm done. Alright, and two days after that, I have completed the first set of requirements to protect the property with sigil locks and the Mephit Guardians. According to my studies, this ensures no outside influence can interfere with the main ritual. The magic appears to have worked. I am most confident that the door lock sigils are in place because they become visible at night and are easy enough to test. The guardians in the form of Mephit summons are not so easy to test as they only activate under certain conditions and require trigger events to activate. In this case, if someone tries to harm me, either directly or indirectly, at which point the sigils activate and summon the mephits to rid me of any who would fit such a description. Furthermore, these mephits 
remain protecting me and the property until I dismiss them or they should be destroyed. At least I managed to get these parts done without Nancy being around to interfere. <laughs> yeah, she interfered all right. <laughs> all right, the 26th of Devor. Work started on the main ritual today and this really does require much concentration. Sorry, Nancy, I simply cannot answer all your questions now. Why won't you just accept that and let me get on? She's never wanted to be involved before, and now is simply not the time. I think I will have to make up with her after this, as I can see this is a strain for her. But the ritual demands my attention and time, and if I miss any of the schedule, then all my current work would be for nothing. Okay, yeah, that's definitely the sigil in the middle of the floor. The 27th. At last, all is ready. It's taken me all day to finish the precise drawings required, but I think I have everything as it should be. At least I hope I have, as any errors would be disastrous. I best rest now and check over the ritual sigil one last time tomorrow before I begin. Besides, the ritual requires that the master sigil be left to purify for 24 hours before I apply four activation items. If after my check tomorrow all is as it should be with the design, then I will activate the sigil and become the hero of the village. I can see it now. <laughs> and the 28th, early hours. Disaster is approaching. Somehow the trap door has become stuck. <laughs> yeah, Nancy locked it. I have tried to call out to Nancy, but I don't think she can hear me or does not think I am speaking to her. Yet, if I don't escape this room soon, then the sigil will not be purified and I would have to start again, but I am not sure I have the concentration to go through all that again. Hmm. It appears Ralph's attempt to escape failed tragically. <laughs> Still the early hours. Nancy has not sought to try to locate me, so I can only conclude that she assumes I am working down here still. So I am left with no alternative. I have to try to escape by my own means before it's too late. There is a ritual I have not yet tested, but will hopefully work. It is supposed to teleport me a few feet in any direction, yet I am still concerned. I don't yet know if performing this ritual will have any impact on the master sigil or vice versa. <laughs> yeah, apparently it went wrong. It turned into stone or something. And my concentration could be better for attempting this now, yet I do not really have any choice if I am to have any chance of success. Let me not have such negative thoughts. I will use this ritual, get out of this chamber, and get some rest. Then later today, I'll return and check the master sigil one last time before ridding the village of this cursed barrier. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Alright, and we got a barrel here. Looks like just crafting items. Let's grab all that. And another barrel here. A flute, which I'm assuming is for a bard, yep. And some iron rations and a brass lantern. Yeah, we'll leave that behind. Alright, and there's a barrel here. Some poison, some gloves, and some more rations. Alright, and that's a combination locker. Alright, let's check all this stuff we just picked up here. Uh, the poison, let's give that to Cassandra. The rations can go to Monty. And the rest of that stuff I guess we'll just hold on to. Alright, let's on? go to Cassandra. Let's see if we can't get into this combination locker. Alright, try combination. Alright, one of these is correct. Alright, process of elimination. Okay, that one's correct. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, that one's good. sequence. Alright, that one's good. Alright, moving on. Alright, so that last one must be correct. Yep, this 
sure was. Ralph's Dagger, Cold Iron, Cold Stone, Diamond Dust, Quicksilver, Powder Silver. Okay, that's the stuff we need. We got some healing potions, some gold, and some choking powder. Alright, let's grab all that. Alright, everything went into our crafting component bag, it looks like. Let's take a look at that dagger. Alright, choking powder, we can hold on to that. So we got regular one, a greater one, and a perfected one. Alright, Ralph's Dagger. He found this dagger inside a chest in the Fairchild property. Okay, looks like just a regular cold iron dagger. Alright, let's just hold on to that for now. Alright, is there anything else in here? Besides the bowls and things. Uh, let's see, we got a journal update. From reading Ralph's diary, it appears Ralph was trying to use his knowledge of ritualistic magic to summon a demon to help remove the barrier. It seems he was unaware that his wife had deliberately locked him within the chamber through fear of what he was up to. Unfortunately, Ralph never succeeded to escape the chamber and died in the attempt trying. His death is probably what triggered the method that attacked and killed Nancy. Yep. The main sigil appears ready for his final incantation. Is it possible that it can still be used to rid the village of the barrier problem? <laughs> I don't know, so for some reason I doubt that. This could be the answer to getting away from here. I should not say anything to Orchin yet if I intend to attempt the summoning. Hmm. Learn how to complete the ritual and rescue the village? Or simply report back to Orchin with your findings, huh? Alright, we're definitely going <laughs> to explore this thing. Alright, uh, let's see, before we mess with the bowls, let's see if there's something going on here. Offer a sacrifice? Hmm. Mm, we're going to leave that alone. Let's see if there's any kind of examine going on here. Nope, that's the same as the re rest of the altars we've been seeing. Alright, Ralph. Alright, an exceedingly lifelike statue of a man performing a ritual from a book of unknown magics. Huh. <laughs> yep, it failed for him. I'm guessing we could possibly... bring him back somehow or something? Hmm, I don't know, but we're about to find out. Alright, so let's see, Ariel... Yes has all of the crafting components that we need. So we need cold stone, of garbage you are having we need the diamond dust, the quicksilver, it. and the powdered silver. Alright, and let's see, we need to go back to this scroll over here. Let's bring that thing back up. Alright, so cold stone is going in the one that looks like kind of an arrow thing. And um, yeah, it looks like that one right there. Alright. So, cold stone. And then powdered silver is this one. And Quicksilver looks like this one. And finally, the Diamond Dust. Ooh. As you place the final component into the last bowl, Melacamp appears. Who is it that summons me? Huh. I will ask the questions, Melacamp. <laughs> Your Slayer Demon! Uh, it's me, Ariel Dune. Well, Ariel Dune, why have you summoned me? I just wanted to see if I could. <laughs> um, let's see, can you help me with a problem? Yeah, let's do that one. Is this your request of me, according to the law of summoning? What's the law of summoning? According to the law of summoning, we must negotiate a deal between us. Ask something of me, and I will tell you what it will cost you. <laughs> okay. Uh, enter combat. Yeah. 
I have not yet given this much thought. What can you suggest? The law forbids me to make specific suggestions in case it seems like I am coercing you into something against your own will. However, general requests include such things as wealth, knowledge, or power. And what are the kinds of costs for such offers you make me? Well, as I am unable to make you offers above my station, the cost to yourself will be likewise. Hmm. In other words, you are a lesser demon with not much real power. Huh. I will perform according to my station. As such, I am limited to offering only one moral benefit, wealth, knowledge, or power. Which do you desire? Hmm. Wealth, I want as much gold as you can give me without crushing anybody in it. <laughs> uh, knowledge, I wish knowledge on how to remove the barrier that surrounds this village without com compromising knowledge anywhere else. Hmm, that's probably a, a noble one. Power, I want to be better at what I do. Give me more power to do it without compromising me in any way. Hmm, before I ask anything of you, I would know what will be the cost to myself. Yeah, let's, let's see what it says. I will tell you the cost before you agree to anything. So tell me, what do you desire? Wealth, knowledge, or power? Hmm. Hmm. Knowledge would be the one to probably get. But to be honest, I don't think... <laughs> I think we already are getting close to how to defeat the barrier. Yeah, I don't think this guy actually knows how to do the barrier. I'm gonna go with power. I want to be better at what I do. Give me the power to do it. It is within my power and authority to provide you with a potion that can permanently enhance one attribute of a single being. Be it strength, intelligence, wisdom, dexterity, constitution, or charisma for doing so. I would have you do a simple task for me. <laughs> Alright, what would this task be? To perform a ritual for me. The ritual I wish you to perform uses the same prepared sigil as the one you have already used. What is the result of this ritual you wished me to perform? Yeah, in my realm, I can only progress in my position by having certain tasks carried out by mortals. This is one such task. What are the requirements of this ritual that you would have me perform for you? The ritual requires only four items, each of which must be placed within the four bowls surrounding this sigil. What are the components required for each bowl? In this ritual, the bowl in which the item is placed does not matter. However, the four items required are one weapon made with cold iron. Oh, okay. That's what that dagger's for, apparently. Another weapon with enchantment magic. Hmm, that one I don't know about. And finally, a life essence for each of the remaining two bowls. Alright, we can do that. Hmm. Um, I have all the necessary... well... I need to look. Now, I believe I have all the necessary components, but I am not sure I'm prepared to pay the cost. You don't understand. The law of summoning demands we seal a contract within a few minutes of my arrival. So what happens if I do not agree to the terms, or cannot pay what is required? If you were missing items, we would negotiate. However, I believe the terms are fair. Is there a problem then? <laughs> No, I have all that is required. Well, in that case, do we have a deal or not? Hmm. Alright, yeah, we have a deal. Ooh, alignment shift. Fair enough. After completing your side of the negotiation, how do you wish to be rewarded? Hmm. 2,000 gold pieces, barrier information... Or choose an attribute to permanently increase by one point. Ooh, that... Yeah, that is definitely juicy. Huh. I'm not entirely sure we'll get 
some decent information from the barrier information one. Because we found out already, there's something in that wizard tower that we need to do, it looks like. Hmm. I, re I think I'm going to go for this increase of an attribute one. Let's do it. Very well. Speak to me again after the ritual is completed. Be warned, however. Do not try to escape from here or cross me in this matter. I will know if you try to cheat me. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. I have no intention of going anywhere until this deal is done. End conversation. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I kept... I had a dagger plus one, and I think I yes. sold it. Otherwise, I'll probably have to give up Thraska's really? uh, axe. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, the Dwarven Warrocks, I really don't yes. want to do that, though. Oh, no. Oh, that's a Solar Dagger. Hmm, I wonder if that would be considered an enchanted we weapon. Hmm. Yes, that is so. Yeah. Yeah, I still have Scar's Blade, too. I could potentially use that. What's going on? Hmm. Yes. Listening, really. Hmm? Oh, I do still have that dagger plus one. Hmm. Damn, I thought I sold that thing. Yes, that is so. Okay, yes. well, I can certainly get rid of that thing. Alright, so... Um, well, let's just do this and see what's gonna happen. I guess we can put this in any bowl. So there's the dagger plus one. And then... Uh, let's see, Cassandra... Yes. ...has Ralph's dagger. Let's do that one next, I guess. So we got some cold iron. Is there something you wish? And, oh. Alright, come back here. Uh, let's see, now we need to give up some life essence. Who's got the All most here. right now? Let's see, we got 13 there. I concur. 12 there. How can I help? 12 yes. there. Alright, we got 23 on Cassandra yeah. and 16. Alright, yes. let's use Cassandra's. Let's split these. Let's go for two. And let's split... The, uh, let's see. Uh, let's split these next. Oh, there we go. Alright, now... Alright, that's the one with the dagger. And... The last one. Let me examine your preparations. Melacamp appears to meditate over the contents of the bowls. Uh, no problem, I hope? <laughs> I see you have met your side of the agreement. Therefore, I will meet mine. Oh, we got another lineman shift. The contract was that I reward you with power. Which of your attributes would you have permanently increased with a potion I will provide you? Ooh. I think we had somebody with an odd number in strength. Although, we do need to raise up wisdom, too. Hmm, but I think Monty's is currently an even one. So, just raising it up by one point isn't going to help, but... I think we do have somebody... with only an odd number in strength, so... And I think all of our dexterities are even, too. So, let's go with strength. I think that one's going to be the most beneficial. Very well. Receive your reward. Behold. You receive a potion of black liquid. Huh. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this stuff is legit. How do I know this isn't going to kill me? Yeah, let's try that. I suppose you don't. Except that the law forbids me to break a deal. Very well, you may go now, demon. Huh! <laughs> Melicamp sniffs the air around you. Bah, your blood would have been so sweet 
but I dare not take the risk. <laughs> oh, what's he going to do, backstab us? What are you talking about? Something. I guess you will never know, mortal. However, there are those who would dare to take the risk. I'd leave you in their company. <laughs> Whose company? Those that risk all to taste your blood. Maybe we will meet again someday, if you survive. Ha! <laughs> Suddenly, Melikamp disappears and is replaced by Mephits, eager for your blood. All right. <laughs> Enter combat. All right, did we actually get that stuff? Yeah, Potion of Power for Strength. Yeah, um, Cassandra's Strength was 15, so that's going to definitely benefit her. All right, so... What are we dealing with here? Just two Fire Mephits, it looks like. All right, let's go fight. Let's see if we can get into a sneak attack position on one of them. Maybe this one. Wow. All right, we got one dead. All right, we're still doing all right. All right. Simple enough. Alright, now something I need to check. Alright, 102 experience points. What kind of alignment shifts did we get from before? Oh, we got lawful evil shift. Lawful I'm not concerned about, but the evil... Five points, and I think there was another one prior to that. And, yeah, that one was also lawful evil. Ooh, but the evil was ten points on that one. Hmm. All right. Yes, that is so. All right, and let's see, we got a journal update here, too. All right, I summoned the demon Melicamp, unfortunately. This minor demon was never going to be able to offer an immediate solution to the barrier problem. Huh, <laughs> okay. However, I didn't come away empty-handed, even if I did end up having to fight for my life before I could make use of it. Hmm, report back to origin. Okay. Alright, what do we have here on the methods? We got us some gems, some life essence, and a little bit of gold, alright. one. More gems, a little more of the same. Alright, well, at least we got our life essences back. Alright, now, let's go Let back. Me lead the way. You follow behind. Let's see, hopefully this stuff will work. Ah, uh, let's see, who yes, else? That is so. Whatever yes. the strengths was everybody Listening else at. Really. Yeah, everybody's at an even number. Let me lead the way. Except you follow for Let me lead Cassandra. Alright, let's use it. Nice, all the way up to 16 now. That'll work. Um, let's see. Is there something you wish? All just to make sure I didn't make a mistake yeah. doing that. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yeah, if I would have got wisdom, I could have got uh, Thresca's wisdom up to 20, but I think that strength would have been better than that. I though. concur. Yes. And. Is there something you wish? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. We could have given it to Monty, but that would have just made him an odd number in wisdom, so it wouldn't have really helped him that much. All right, I'm happy with that choice I made. All right. Well, Ralph, I'm sorry. It looks like we can't help you out, huh? Hm. Yes, that is so. All right. Um, oh, did we get everything off of this one? Okay, loot all. All right, well, I guess we can probably go back to Orchin and close that quest out. I don't think there's anything else we need to do down here. Oh, wait, hang on. Is there anything on the Magician's workbench? No, okay. Huh. All right, let's go back up. And let's go see Orchin and close that quest out. Alright, well, 
off camera before coming here I decided to go back and sell some items and I uh, rested up too as before when I came in here he was asleep so <laughs> I figured you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and rest too and I'm gonna come back when he's awake so alright let's go ahead and talk to Origin and see if we can close this quest out alright about the missions of mercy board what about the mercy board I have resolved the issue with the Fairchilds Please tell me what has happened. This mischief with ritualistic magic has me quite concerned for their welfare. Hmm. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Ralph dabbled in the magic, and his efforts caused the death of both of them. Hmm. Or should I say, Ralph was trying to summon a demon. Yeah, let's do this one. No. What terrible news! Did you manage to determine the cause of their deaths? Nancy died from a method attack. A guardian Ralph had prepared to protect him, which went awry. The foolish man! And what became of Ralph then? Nancy had him trapped in a cellar, and he died trying to escape using a spell that went wrong. I believe that is what triggered the method that killed Nancy. Is that everything? Nothing more to add to this already tragic event? Hmm. Should we just tell him? Hmm. Oh, man. Let's see what's going to happen. Well, I suppose you ought to know that I've finished the ritual and summoned the demon. Orichin almost chokes on his words. You did what? What possessed you to do that? I was following up on Ralph's idea that it may have helped with the barrier problem. No good ever comes from dealing with demons. Remember that. We will resolve the barrier problem without their help. The opportunity was too good to miss. I did what I could and the demon is no longer an issue. I have seen to that. I do hope you haven't involved yourself in something more dangerous than I first envisaged. Don't worry, I can handle myself. I thank Boran for that mercy. Oh, what a sad and terrible turn of events. I will have to see to their bodies immediately and make sure the residence is made safe. Ralph has turned into some kind of stone by the looks of him, but Nancy is certainly, well, needs cleaning up. <laughs> Here, I will make the reward up to 200 gold pieces from the sanctuary funds. I am sure it's what the Fairchilds would have wanted under the circumstances. Thanks, Orchin. Alright, well, at least that one's done. Alright, anything else that we need to talk to him about? Uh, about the crypts. Nothing about that. Alright, do we need to buy anything? Let's take a quick look. Yeah, I think we're still good on healing supplies. We don't need any of that stuff. Uh, recipes. I don't need any of this stuff. Periapt of Wisdom plus two. Copper necklace, floor spar, some cold iron, and Owl's Wisdom, and 200 gold pieces. That might be good for Monty, actually. Old iron. I think we have all that, or we can get all that. I don't know if we got the copper necklace, but I can certainly buy one. I think I got a gem and cold iron. And we can certainly cast Owl's Wisdom. Hmm. Let's see what we have available here yet. Yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. Amulet will resist it. Hmm. You know what, this is only one gold piece. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Yeah, I might make that for uh, Monty. Um, I think that's all we can do in here. Now, let me check something. Yes. Alright, and let's see, in our treasure bag. Floor spar, yeah. Oh yeah, we got lots of floor spar gems. And we do have a copper, copper necklace. 
So we just need a 2,000 gold. I'm gonna have to go back and grab it up. And we need uh, owls. Owls wisdom. All right. Uh, let's see. Journal updated. This one's complete. I reported back to Orchin all that had occurred at the Fairchild's residence. He was saddened by the turn of events, but kept to his word and rewarded me for bringing him the news. All right. Well, at least we told him the truth. All right. I am going to run back and get some gold and... Well, actually, since we don't really have that spell memorized, I guess we can go straight to the next quest. Yeah, we'll make that later, I guess. Is there something... Yes. Uh, you know what, now that I'm thinking on second thought, maybe I should just go ahead and rest up and get that, because we can probably benefit from that necklace. Uh, yeah. Let's see, Monty. He's currently got heal plus five and magic device, use magic device plus four. He doesn't actually use healing too much. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Boy, I wouldn't, really wouldn't mind that extra increased wisdom, though, on him. Hmm. Well, maybe we can do that later. Let's go... Actually, you know what? Hell with it. I'm going to go ahead and craft this up. I'm going to get some gold, and I'm going to re-rest up and get that spell memorized that we need for that. And I'm going to do that all off camera. I'll be back in a moment. All right, so we just got done resting up. We do have Owl's I Wisdom now, so we should be able to mm -hmm. uh, cast that uh, recipe for the necklace. Let's see if it'll work here. Periapto Wisdom plus two. All right, we got it. Done. And done well. All right, plus two Wisdom. Let's give yeah. that to Monty. All right, now his wisdom's up to 14. Now, let's take a look at his spells. All right, yep, he's going to get a level 2. All right, there we go, bark skin. That's why I want to get this up, so if <laughs> I want to get some bark skin. Uh, other than that, yeah, nothing else we really need. All right, now that we have yes. rested again, let's take a look in that stolen, or not that, uh, that spell, but yeah, the captured spell book. Let's see if we can pull another spell out of this thing, and then I'm probably going to go ahead and rest again. Um, uh, Amnalistic Power, I think we have. Summon Creature 2, I guess we can get that next. I know we got Acid Arrow. Let's get Summon Creature 2 next. And let's grab that. Alright, I am going to go ahead and rest up yes, one more time. <laughs> and then we're going to go outside, and I think we're going to handle... What is that other one that's in town that's across the way here? Yeah, the Unfulfilled Commission. The Treadwell House. That's the house that's just across the way in town here. I think we're going to go ahead and handle that and get them knocked out. All right. I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. Be back in a moment. All right. All rested up and ready to continue on. Yeah, the next one. Let's go ahead and handle this uh, Sebastian's Creations one. Yeah, this is the one way back when she let us in the door, and we never did go in there, so... Let's go in there next. Walking let's go to Kenneth. Step. Follow me. Is there... Wow, well, look at this place. Huh. Uh, there's Sally Rewilder. There's something here, a plaque. Oh, there's one here, too. What does this one say? The Beggar by Sebastian Rewilder. Hmm. He is an artiste. Let's look at this one. The Preacher by Sebastian Rewilder. The woman is obviously nervous. Please tell me, what is this all about? Uh, let's see. Diplomacy is our best bet here. What a lovely home you have here. Is everything all right with Sebastian? Success, 25 XP. Oh, it's no good. I have to tell someone sooner than later. Why don't you just start from the beginning, Sally? Very well. It all started when we used to live in Boran, just over six months ago. A 
carry on. Tell me everything, as it all may be important. One day, Sebastian came home very excited. He said that an opportunity had presented itself to him that he could not refuse. What was this opportunity? He told me that he could not tell me anything about it, but simply he needed to raise funds, lots of golds, to purchase this item, and I was to trust him. How much gold are we talking about? Enough that we had to sell our grand city home and move to this smaller place in New Edgeton. So whatever this item was that your husband bought, is it here somewhere? Of that I am sure, and whatever it is, it is small enough to store on his person, as he always carries it with him. So that was six months ago. What has happened since? Not a lot to begin with. We were preoccupied with the move to here and setting up the art shop to ensure we had an income. Do you think this item you mentioned is related to his work? Yes, of that I'm sure. He would often say things like, Sally, darling, we will have a house twice the size of the one in Boran, not before too long when I finish my latest work. And he would tap his chest pocket where he kept the item. So what events have recently occurred to change things? Well, just over a week ago, he said that he was close to finishing the first part of his latest work with his new artistic tool, as he would call it. Carry on. He said to me that he would be quite involved for a few hours and not to worry if I did not hear from him for a while and also not to disturb him. That doesn't sound too unreasonable for someone with an artistic bent, in my experience. Well, if it had only been for a few hours, then I would agree. However, I left him undisturbed for over a day before I decided to call in on him. He had not come out to eat or drink for a whole day? No, and when I tried to go in and see him, it was then that I noticed he had also locked his door. Continue. He has never locked his door to me before, although I was aware that he had acquired a magic lock to protect his work from thieves. What kind of lock is it then? It is a magical dwarf ruined lock. I had no idea how to even begin to bypass it, but that was not the strangest thing. What do you mean? Well, he has not left his room for over a week now, but... I have still been able to speak with him through the door, and he responds as if nothing is wrong, asking me not to disturb him. Locked away for a week without food and water? I know. My poor darling must be starving. I don't know what he was planning to do that day over a week ago, but he has not been the same since. I think I had better investigate what has happened to your husband, Sally. I agree. I don't think I have any other choice. If he has not already lost his mind through thirst and hunger, then he soon will do. Is there anything more you can tell me before I start my investigation? Only that you can take whatever you need from around the house to help get my husband back. And be my guest to any food and drink while you are here. Thank you. Look, Sebastian and I are not short of gold, so if you find anything that might help you get past the lock and my husband back, then take it. That's very gracious of you, Sally. Furthermore, I'm sure Sebastian has some odd bits of gold squirreled around the place, which you are welcome to for helping us. Very well, I'll do what I can. Thank you so much. Now, if you don't mind, I'll leave you to it. I don't want to be here when you confront my husband, so if I am off the scene, then all the better. Huh. Uh, wouldn't it be better for you to be around, just in case? Look, I have been beside myself for the last few days, and I need to get out. I have to trust you will help me now. Very well. When will you be returning? What should I say to Sebastian? If all goes well, and you manage to see him, just tell him I have gone to buy the ingredients for his favorite meal. As for your presence, I'll leave that for you to explain why you have had to call on him. After all, if he is in his right mind, then 
He should not be too surprised. Very well, hopefully. I'll have some good news for you by the time you return. Okay. Hmm, wow, that sounds fishy as hell. Oh, that must be him, huh? In that picture. Alright, we got a journal update. Sally, Sebastian's wife, is concerned for Sebastian's well-being. Apparently, he has not left his room for over a week now. Not even to come out for food or drink. When she tried speaking to him through the door, he has locked himself in. He simply replies that he wishes to be left alone. Something appears a little odd here, so I said I would investigate the matter further. Investigate why Sebastian wants to be left alone to the point of not coming out to eat or drink for over a week. <laughs> yeah. That definitely sounds crazy. Alright, and... We can sit down, apparently. Okay. Alright, that's just eye candy stuff, I guess. Alright, we don't need to be sitting down at the moment, so let's go check the place out. Alright, so there is a stairway up. Let's see if there's anything back here we can rifle through. That's where we came in over there. That, I'm assuming, goes back outside. Alright, let's go upstairs then. See if we can find out what's going on here. Alright, there's a couple doors down here. You know what? Let we should be lead leading up with Cassandra. In case there might be some secret stuff in here going on. Alright, there's a locked door here and this one's open. Let's look in here first, I guess. Okay. Nothing there. Got a lamp here. Let's light it up. Okay, I don't see anything here. Alright, this door is locked. I wonder if that's the one she was talking about. Let's give it a shot here. Unlocking. This is a door to Sebastian's workshop. It has an unusual rune design locking system. Um, knock on the door. You hear a man's voice call out. Sorry, too busy to respond. Too busy. <laughs> uh, I need to talk to you, Sebastian. No, go away. Huh. Alright, examine the lock system. Ooh, it's one of these again. Alright. Um, looks like we just need to find three sets. Alright, well, let's do it. We just need to go fast through these things. Alright, there's an M. And R. Okay, there's R. Or was it? Oh, no, that wasn't it. Alright, well. There's an M. Or was it M? Alright, we got one. There's an R. Alright, and R. Or was it up here? There we go, got it. 75 XP. Alright, there's Sebastian. A flying book. <laughs> there's a diary in there. Hmm. Alright, yes, let's go with... So. Oh, what's this? A painting. Let's go to Kenneth first. Alright, let's see what he's got to say. Sally! Sally! Dearest! Didn't I say that I was not to be disturbed? But I'm not Sally. <laughs> Look, what do you want, Sally? And how did you get in anyway? <laughs> Alright, this guy is not of his right mind. Uh, Sebastian, I am not Sally. Very well, not Sally. <laughs> how was I to know that you changed your name since we last spoke? Wow, this guy must have lost his mind or something. 
Uh, are you all right, Sebastian? You don't appear to be making much sense. Aren't you supposed to be a woman, not Sally? <laughs> I think we need to talk, Sebastian. You notice that there is a strange shimmering light coming from Sebastian. Oh yeah, there is, isn't there? We are talking, although we should not be. Uh... Why is that, Sebastian? Oh dear, this is not going right at all, is it? Why don't you try to explain what's going on, Sebastian? Yes, yes, I will do that. But first... Now, how would he put it? Of course, I need my audience. Um... He? Who are you referring to, Sebastian? Stop trying to distract me. Now, is everybody here? You have your audience right here, Sebastian. No, no, that's not quite true, is it? Not everybody is close enough to pay attention. Let me accommodate that. Sebastian points a finger and the whole party appears in the room. There, that's better. How did you do that? In a minute, in a minute. One last thing to secure before I continue. Sebastian points his finger at the door to the room and it suddenly disappears. <laughs> we don't want the audience walking off on us now, do we? Uh... I don't understand. Why would I walk off when I just came to talk with you? Sorry, there is nothing left to talk about. That is beyond my remit. So, now I must kill you. Ha! <laughs> Damn! Uh, alright, we have a diplomacy option here. Surely we can settle this with words. After all, you are an artist. Success, 85 XP. You simply don't understand, not Sally. Now, enough talking. It is time for you to die. <laughs> Um, but why? Because you have broken the parameters. You should never have come in. Now die, not Sally. <laughs> um, remain passive while Sebastian attacks. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. He apparently was not actually Sebastian, it looks like. Hmm. Okay. Read the journal update. Something bizarre is at hand here. Ha! <laughs> no doubt. I managed to speak to who I thought was Sebastian, but he reacted very strangely, having unusual powers, and even attacked me. I had to kill him, but upon his death, he exploded like a pool of water. It raises the question, was it really Sebastian? Yeah, obviously it wasn't. Investigate the strange situation. Try to find a way to overcome the power that blocks exit to the room. Okay, yeah, so we are apparently trapped in here, huh? The door has completely gone. <laughs> Alright, let's look, uh, you know what, let's go What's to Cassandra here. Can we do anything with this door here? No. Alright, we have a painting here. The painting is signed Sebastian Rewilder. Self-portrait on my 12th birthday, and dated 10th Kolos, 1179. Hmm. I concur. Let me lead the way. You follow behind. Hmm. We need to do something with that, or what? Okay, there must be a purpose for that. Ooh, there's a combination locker here, too. And we still have this flying book. There's something here? All right, flying book. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, pauper and prince. I bring you the latest in literature genius, created by none other than Sebastian Rewilder, artist extraordinaire. <laughs> Please prepare yourself for an adventure of a lifetime, one where you are the protagonist, the one in control, the hero or heroine in my great adventure entitled The Halls of the Goblin Kings. Uh, what is going on here? From your response, you must be intellectually challenged. <laughs> so I will try to make this simpler for you. Um, please do. <coughs> the tome you see before you is the work of a genius called Sebastian Rewilder. This work, however, is no ordinary work of fiction. Go on. 
With extreme intellect, Mr. Wilder has overcome the boundary between the creator and the created. Um, uh, I don't understand. I know. That is why I'm explaining it to you. Basically, by reading the text of this epic story, you'll be transported into the creative works itself. Oh, that's where he is, huh? Surely that's impossible. To the illiterate and intellectually challenged, maybe, but not to great literary geniuses like Sebastian Rewilder. <laughs> so if I start reading your text, I'll be transported inside the story? Exactly. You can join the story in its current state. I would like to ask some more questions about this. That does not surprise me, and is why my parameters for responses are included within the great work of Sebastian Rewilder. And we have insight. What do you mean I can join the story in its current state? Mr. Sebastian Rewilder is already participating within the story. You may join in, or, as the author wishes to be stated, tag along the main protagonist as his sidekick. <laughs> How long has Mr. Wilder been participating within his own story? Just over a week now, huh? Over a week? Is he still alive then? Of course. Why would we want to kill the creator? It sounded like there was a slight change in the tone of the book, if that were possible. Huh. Is he alright? And that is all you're going to learn, folks. Isn't it exciting? Isn't it just drawing you in? The plot. The magnificence of it all. Come, come, play the game. Come and read me. The book goes silent for the time being. Hmm. Okay. Alright, before we mess with that book any further, let's check the rest of this stuff here. Oh, there's something else on the floor here. A bottle of spirits. Okay. And we have a diary. What can I say? I've been blessed. There is no curse here. The tradesman did not know what he was saying. I knew that, in the hands of a professional artist like myself, the pen would be a blessing, and how right I am. <laughs> My work, The Halls of the Goblin King, will be an inspiration to all. It will start a new trend of literary greats, and mine will be the first. To be sure, such power of creation cannot fall into the hands of common riffraff, or else who knows what would befall us. I already have an image of the story start in my mind's eye, and the goal of the plot will be fun indeed. Who can resist the story of heroes, gold, and the rescue of fair maidens? Tonight I will try out the story so far, and see if it requires any alterations. I will, of course, have to take some precautions. Even I can see the senses in that. For instance, I have already considered the potential for what I will call a reverse reality, where characters of my story could leak back into this world. I will write a condition into the plot that says only those who enter the door from this side may return by it. Furthermore, I must consider the possibility that my dear wife Sally may try to contact me while I am away. To this end, I will write a simulacrum of myself to keep her at bay until I return. The first chapter of my epic is now ready. The simulacrum is made and works well enough for my needs as far as I can see, although I am a little concerned about some of its responses. It's as if it is deliberately awkward or even belligerent at times. Hopefully its function will not be required too often as it may upset Sally. And today I test my story and enter the halls of the Goblin Kings. <laughs> Alright, and a chair. Alright. Uh, let's see, journal update. I found a diary written by Sebastian. It seems that my suspicions about the creature I killed that looked like Sebastian were correct. The creature killed was a simulacrum, a magically created being designed to look like another. Sebastian was into something strange, and I should find out what happened to him, especially as finding him is probably going to be my only way out of here. Investigate the strange situation, try to find a way to overcome the power that blocks exit to the room. Alright. Well, apparently we need to talk to this book again, but we're going to do that in the next episode as we are running up on time. 
Go ahead and hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you in the next episode.